What is up everyone, JD here. I hope you're doing well today. Got a review for you. Let's get into it. All right, guys, got a new model here from Real Steel that I'm very interested in checking out. You probably saw it in a recent unboxing. That is going to be the Real Steel Slythe. All right, so what we're going to do today is we're going to do our size comparison, profile comparisons, and then weigh and jump into it. So let's go ahead and kick it off with a couple of size comparisons. All right, so we got the Vostede Hedgehog on the bottom, and we got the Kaiser Militaw on the top. And as you can see, this is actually quite a small carry. Let's do a couple more. All right, here it is against your span. Spyderco Manix 2 lightweight and your pair of 3 lightweight on the table. You can see that the Slythe is actually very close in size to your pair of 3. Let's close them up and check out carry profile. All right, so your carry profile closed is actually very similar to your Spyderco pair of 3 lightweight and a little bit longer than your Hedgehog, but definitely more narrow than both in the pocket. And then with the fold over pocket clip there, it's going to carry nice and deep all the way down in the pocket. Very minimal hanging out. Let's grab the scale and check the weight on this one out. Scale out and on. Let's go ahead and check out the weight on the slice. There's a lot of steel here, so I'm not really sure. I'm thinking it's going to be around the 3, 3.3 ounce mark. So coming in about 3.4 ounces, pretty respectable for a smaller carry. Let's get the scale out of here and we'll jump into it. All right, guys, it is a pass around knife. Shout out to Kevin Lefty EDC. Thank you for letting me check this one out. It is very different. We did go down to the garage and do a little bit of cutting with it. And all in all, it is fairly comfortable and very slicey. They did a good geometry on this one. It, got a, it has a nice belly good bite with their nitro v nitro v as you know is not an edge retention monster so at the end there it does snag a little bit but a quick strop just like 14 c 28 n gets it right back to form and it is good to go ergonomics very comfortable i do definitely feel the shadow box liner down here but it's not a hot spot they chamfered it um, so it is fine for light duty cutting light duty task which i feel like this is really what it is suited for you got a really unique look here you got a steel liner that is integral one piece construction just folded over with the lock bar cut out done inside and then you have a fold over external external steel uh here as well that allows for the pocket clip to be reversed i do like that a lot but a very interesting integral on integral construction got a little chamfering there for access to these thumb studs which are really well done i like these thumb studs a lot i like when they step them like that give a good size to them they're not hot or pinchy or anything like that when you're touching them you can see here they did do some milling for your lock bar it's got decent access i wouldn't say it's great it's a little tight and i don't like the fact that i have to push it so far to get it to fall that i got to yank my thumb out of there i would like for it to be a little bit more of a controlled close but it's locked up solid no up and down no left and right um, looks like it may have a little detent ball ramp I haven't really found in the little amount of time that I've had with it a good spot for it to disengage so that it's not falling on you. The detent on it is nice. It's very crispy and snappy. I do like that. Real Steel has been doing a very good job with their models here lately. They're tuned very well. Um, they feel very snappy. And I also like the fact that the thumb studs act as your stop pin here so i don't see any internal stop pin i checked it over really good um, it just looks like your stop your thumb studs are your stop pin for the open and for the close it looks like it's hitting on the lock bar right about there for that closed position i can't see in there too well even with um, the flashlight when i check it out I don't really see any stop pin of any sort anywhere in here. Again, I have checked, double checked, and triple checked, and it looks like it's just a detent ball, and then it looks like the thumb stud just kind of rests right there on the internal integral liner, and then it hits right there 
on the open position. So really cool construction. I like the Nitro V. I like the uh, subtle drop point to it. You got a, a three quarters flat grind, and it, it I mean it feels really thin behind the edge. It came with a good factory edge. The plunge grind is a little short. Um, they need to pull that plunge grind back a little bit because you can see it's already got a smile from the factory. And that smile means that it's thickening up there where you're sharpening it. Or you might want to just go ahead and notch it out a little bit more since your stop pin is actually your thumb studs on the open and close. Um, just really comfortable small lightweight edc you know i think anything under four ounces as lightweight i think anything under three is kind of ultra lightweight or super lightweight and then anything under two is just mind-blowingly lightweight this would be a really cool small edc that i think you could pretty much hard use and abuse and not really worry about it um, they're not terribly expensive there's a couple of alternative recommendations I'd make at this point price point. Uh, I like the nice guy because the nice guy at $50, you can get 154 CM. So I do like that bump in steel, but this does feel like it's a bit more of a sturdy construction to it. Like it feels like it's going to be a little bit more durable. I also think this could flex and so could the nice guy because the nice guy comes with the 12 carbon fiber laminate on top of G10. So it does look a little bit more upscale, but this actually looks like it could just really cover all your gent hard use everyday task without taking up too much space or too much real estate and, or too much out of pocket so it's a very cool model i very much enjoyed getting to hang out with it and check it out um, i don't know about disassembly since i can't disassemble it and i can't really talk about uh, lockup or engagement on this particular one i can tell you it looks like it's about 30 percent lockup and it looks like the liners the bearings are nested in here it looks like they're the smaller style bearings and again just at a glance from looking down into the knife it looks like when you take out the pivot they would just slide out all together for maintenance so it could be easy but i truthfully can't answer that because it is a pass round and i don't get a lot more time with it good centering uh looks like t6 construction i'd like to see some t8 here t8 in the pivot looks like it's captive here um good stuff for this price real steel doing some good work and uh i really like what i'm seeing for them what do you think of this life let me know down in the comments below yay or nay if you're not into this one feel free just to let me know what you're carrying in your pockets in the comments i appreciate it on your way out make sure you hit that like button for me if you don't mind it does help and if you're not subscribed consider subscribing guys love to have you follow along special thanks to those channel members out there your loyal commitment to the channel is greatly appreciated and it helps tremendously with being able to do these types of reviews i hope all of you have a fantastic week guys i'll catch you on the next one peace